Okay, stop. Stand still. You're listening. Say it. To no, me? say you're listening. I, I'm listening. No, say you're listening. You're listening. To the worst marathon ever. To the worst marathon ever. Good job. Hey, everybody. Welcome back again to the second worst marathon ever. This is Big Anklevich. And this is Rich Outfield. And we're doing the Pixar Rules of Storytelling. Or That's right. Uh, we are at number six. Number six. We need one of those like radio announcer guys that would do the countdown thing. We we have a radio announcer guy. We just we do don't, not on this show. Who the who I don't. Anyways, we we could use one of those. I want you to look into it. Okay. <laughs> number six. Number six. What is your character good at? Comfortable with? Throw the polar opposite at them. Challenge them. How do they deal? Uh, is that a two-part question? What is your character good w- at? Comfortable with? It's a one you part ask yourself with, a, in that? with a comma in between. It's one of those newfangled things where people are too cool to use... Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah the linking with kind of No, no, of that's words. not what I'm talking about. Is that a question? What is your character good at, comfortable with? And then the other thing... Is throw the opposite at them. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Okay, what is the things that your character is good at and comfortable with? Okay, now let's throw the exact opposite at them and see how they deal with it. That's the rule. Go. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's do a Pixar movie then. Old or new? Whatever. What is Lightning McQueen good at? Racing? Okay. Winning the... How does he deal with life in a slow town? How does he deal with inching along the road as he pulls Bessie to repair the road? How does he deal with, instead of life in the fast lane, life in the slow lane? That seems like a response to that. (sighs) That's definitely the polar opposite, at least, I guess. What is Marlin, the clownfish, good at? Nothing. <laughs> Overprotecting his child. That's true, yes. <laughs> what is he comfortable with? Nothing. Yeah. His child is taken away from him, and now he has to venture out into the completely unsafe ocean. That's right, yeah. He's risks. good at safety or being playing it safe. Okay. And so we throw you you're forced to go out there in danger and face mines face and stinging and jellyfish and jellyfish and, and seagulls. Seagull. And whales. whales. And They're not really dangerous though. They just swallow him? They eat krill. Hey look, krill. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I, I understand that. I think that you had talked about this and I don't know if we actually said this on a podcast or not, but I think we did. Where a similar rule to this is, what is your character's greatest fear? Okay, now make him face it. I think it's a really, basically the same thing. Okay, well, let's, let's go really recent. Joy. What is joy good at? Comfortable with? The joyful stuff. Make uh, happy feelings. Making sure that her... her Riley. Her Riley, what what do they? What would they say that her head, her, her human, person, her charge, her... the person that she's? I don't know. What, anyways, making sure that she is uh, always looks on the bright side and and stays positive, etc. And what's the opposite of that? All the the stuff, I guess, that they have to face, all the continual problems and uh, setbacks that their move has for her. I mean, the answer may just be adolescence. <laughs> you throw adolescence <laughs> The at exact her. opposite of joy. <laughs> but, I, in a way, because, you know, none of what Riley experienced was alien to me. I mean, we all had experienced that, you know. And, you and, moved to San Francisco too, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. We were so close, but just right there in Sacramento. Yeah. We could have. 
Oh, okay, okay, I can. Okay, you're right. It, it was not. It was all alien to me. Did you know that the sequel to that is Riley's first date? Already. 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 Really? Already. It must have done it's better on, than I on, thought. It's I on thought. the Blu-ray. Oh, it's on the Blu-ray. That's like the little, the little bullshit buy me thing that. <laughs> that like what's... Mike's new car. Yeah, I, I think it was Pixar that did it first. Yeah, right? that it was the first one that they did it with. Was Mike's it new car. It wasn't nasty old uh, DreamWorks thing. It was Pixar that created this monster. <laughs> Riley's first date. You know how that's going to end. Finger banging. Oh my gosh! Are we still recording? <laughs> I think we're good on this one, though. Do you think so? I think we, I, it, it was a pretty self. I like you saying, What are they scared? What are they afraid of? Now throw it at them. I like that. Yeah, I mean that's one that you've mentioned before, at least me, if not on the show. And it's basically the same kind of a thing, you know. It's what are they most afraid of? And generally, that is going to be a more abstract thing than spiders. Or something. But even spiders, Ron had to face. So, <laughs> throw it at them. Whatever they're most afraid of. Whatever it is that they're most comfortable with, take them out of that comfort zone and make them do the exact opposite. That is interesting story. So, that one's in, in, a no-brainer. I think we're, we're probably done for today already. Okay, yeah? that was another short episode. Good. Nobody wants to hear us for more than seven minutes anyways, so... Do they want to hear us for seven minutes? Now, we're cutting out the finger bang line. <laughs> so it's six and a half minutes. All right, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. That Gets My Goat is released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives license, meaning share it with everyone, but don't sell it or change it.